What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good afternoon. It's good to see you all again. Hope you're all doing great. And welcome to another uh, update on Solana. Uh, a scheduled update today. Uh, if, if you don't know me, basically what I do in, in these videos, in most of my videos, is I cover the cryptos. I cover some of the price and the news around it. Uh, and I have a, have, have a strict upload schedule of, of at least some of the biggest cryptos and what day I cover them. Thursday is Solana Day. Among some uh, among some other crypto, so wanted to take a look at it today. Um, and and the main thing is, there's not really news right now around Solana. There was some news at the end of, of of September. We'll talk about that and the effects that had. But there's not really news right now. It's just moving kind of along with the market. It's a little bit more bearish in the market, but I think there are some explanations for that. Um, so yeah, let's let's get right into it. Actually, when when I think about it, there, there's a lot we can talk about, but I only want to talk about the important things, of course. Uh, volume is steady. It's about se it's like seven percent of the market cap. That's steady. That that's good. There's nothing much we can say about that. But apart from that, markets have been pretty pretty bearish, uh, right? I mean, Bitcoin is now green, but it's still at around nineteen thousand two hundred and fifty. And Solana, I think, practically is just going to move along with the markets. All right. The, the 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 reason why we are relatively to to Bitcoin and Ethereum, uh, which are pretty stable they've been consolidating why we're a little bit bearish with solana is first of all because it's a lower market cap coin so it's more volatile so uh, when we had the inflation rate for example a week ago we were more volatile um, but apart from that the fundamentals behind solana have become a little bit worse as well because of two reasons first one is is that at the end of september which is quite some time ago already but it still has its effects i think um we had another network outage, right? So Solana stopped working after some problems with a validator. That was this move. Uh, and we actually managed to help those levels. But when the, the fu fundamentals got more bearish with that inflation rate and just the general market, um, we lost some, some buyer power, all right? Because here we actually managed to stay above 32 cents. And then the, when the bearish fundamentals actually kicked in, we weren't strong enough to hold it. So that made us drop down. Then here we got that inflation rate shenanigans. Um, and then and then we got back above, dropped down to 29.5, $31 and, and dropped back down. Um, I don't know where, where I was going with that. Oh yeah, so so the, the, those fundamentals just behind Solana were a little bit more bearish and something that actually highlights that, um, I think at least, is the launch of Aptos. Um, Aptos is seen as direct competition to Solana. Uh, it is supposed to be a very quick blockchain too. It hasn't shown that yet. I have to be honest about that. I mean, if, if, if it won't show that, Solana might actually come, come, come back on top. And it still is on top. I mean, Solana has a great ecosystem of, of NFTs and decentralized applications, and it has a great community. So, so I'm, I'm being a little bit negative, but there's a lot to be positive about. Uh, but the fundamentals, if, if we're talking realistically, have decreased or have, um, yeah, have become a little bit worse. So right now, on, on the short term, what I expect for Solana is not necessarily this. This was my, my update I, I just did. But um, what I expect is that right now, while, while we have some more bullish momentum, I think we're going up to this level right here between $29.5 and $30. That's a quite strong resistance level, right? So if there were, were no other things involved, I would say we would find resistance there and drop back down towards like $0.28 cents, or $28. Uh, but as I said in the beginning, I think Solana right now will just kind of follow Bitcoin. So we're going up to $30, uh, $29.5 for Bitcoin. That's going to be like around 19400 or something. If Bitcoin is actually able to stay, um, if Bitcoin is able to, to get towards 20000 so get towards 19700 I think Solana is going to follow it, take a break retest off of 29.5. Get to 30.5, I think we'll struggle a little bit with 30.5, but if Bitcoin actually remains relatively stable, I think we're going up to 31.5. All right, so so that would be the bullish scenario. And the only thing you need to do is, is follow what, what, what Bitcoin is, is doing, right? Solana follows it quite closely. Um, and, and right now I, I don't really have a bias because I don't really have a bias on, on Bitcoin either. Uh, we're just pretty stable. Um, I'd say my bias is, is that we will consolidate between like $30 and, and 28.5. I think that's maybe the most realistic scenario until we get some big moves. Um, on the other hand, even though I, I on the other hand, $30 is a strong resistance level. So if we get there and you see and you see that Bitcoin is actually dropping down towards 19,000 again, then we'll probably drop back down to 28.5. 
probably even t down towards $28. I do think, uh, I don't think $28 and 27.5 as a support level will break, um, but getting there obviously isn't positive either. So yeah, there, there's like fundamentally, there's a lot to be said about Solana, but I think in, in terms of price, it's it's pretty boring. And, and, and I think it's pretty correlated with Bitcoin for now. Um, at least so yeah that's my my take my coverage my updates for today if you do have any questions let me know down in the comments but for now i'd like to thank you all for watching and listening uh, take care and bye